Welcome to MathsMaster.org. Let's learn about angles in parallel lines, in particular corresponding angles. Let's understand what we're talking about when we're saying angles in parallel lines. Well, if we've got two parallel lines as we have here, I've shown these with arrows on, as you can see, and then you've got another line which comes in and crosses those parallel lines. Angles in parallel lines is actually those angles formed around the points where that line crosses the parallel lines. So I've drawn those angles in blue here. So what are corresponding angles? Here's an example of a pair of corresponding angles. The two angles that I've drawn in blue here, we say are corresponding angles. Now, a way that's normally taught for you to spot pairs of corresponding angles is to look for F shapes in the lines. So here you can see that I've drawn over the lines in red with an F shape, and it's the angles inside that F shape that are corresponding angles that you can see here. But that's not the only pair of corresponding angles in this diagram. Here we've got a backwards F, an F pointing the other way. But you can see that the angles inside the F shape are another pair of corresponding angles. Sometimes the F shape might actually be upside down. If you can spot that, then again the angles inside the F shape are another pair of corresponding angles. Or it can even be an F shape that's upside down and backwards. So again, these uh, angles, this pair of angles, are what we call corresponding angles. Another different way to think of it, rather than thinking of looking for F shapes, what I try to do, and the method that I prefer, is to imagine that you take a picture of each of the points where the line crosses the parallel lines. And the whole idea behind this is that for each picture, they have to match up. They have to be look exactly the same. So, if you've got an angle up here on the top right-hand side in that picture in blue, if you then look in the other picture, to make that picture exactly the same, we'd need to add this blue angle here. And it's those angles which are the same in each picture, which are the corresponding angles. So if we look at the pictures now, they're exactly the same, and it's that blue angle in each picture that uh, forms the pair of angles which we can say these two are corresponding. Again, in each picture, these blue angles are in exactly the same place, so this is another pair of corresponding angles. And finally, here's another pair of corresponding angles. Again, because they are in exactly the same place in each picture. So now we know how to find corresponding angles, we just need to learn the angle rule. And it's actually really easy. Corresponding angles are equal. They're exactly the same size as each other. The hardest bit with corresponding angles is actually spotting them in the first place. Once you've actually found a pair of corresponding angles, using the angle rule is really easy. Here, in blue, I've found a pair of corresponding angles. I know that one of them is 45 degrees, and because corresponding angles are equal, they're the same size, I must know that the angle that I've marked X here must also be 45 degrees. That was angles in parallel lines, corresponding angles. If you want to see some more great maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.